Thanks for tuning in. This is Sweet Cyclist. Today we're going to be reviewing the Helix shoes from Bond Cycling. So here we have the Bond Cycling flagship Helix shoes in its original packaging. You can see a really standard shoe box with their logo and their lighter, stronger, faster slogan. On the bottom of the box, you'll find the uh, sizing guide. I also recommend going on their website and using their sizing guide where you take a few measurements and then you can get the perfect size. They offer half sizes, standard width, wider width, and then uh, as well as a narrow width as well. So a lot of customization options. Let's go ahead and take these out of the box. And while I do that, we'll review the specs. These are $400. These are carbon monocoque chassis. And they're quite unique in appearance as well. So very anatomically designed. They have a replaceable heel pad, which is a really nice feature, especially at this price point. You have a single BOA IP1 dial, and this is dual direction, which is a really nice feature. So you can do micro adjustments. You have a Duro light upper that wraps all the way around. A lot of color options as well. This is the red version, which is a little bit flashier. And they're also fully heat moldable, so you can really get a custom fit. So what do you get in the box? You get the shoes, a little BOA dial explanation. You also get some bolts here which I believe are just the standard uh, cleat bolts that come with uh, replacement cleats as well. We have the shoes themselves. And as I said, these are the more flashy versions. They have uh, the white and black versions and other colors as well. Also in the box, you'll find the bag. This is a nice feature you get with more expensive shoes. You get a nice logoed bag with synthetic material. That's great for transporting the shoes, especially if you have a race or an event. Let's take a second to look at the weight of the shoes. The right shoe comes in at 228 grams, while the left shoe, this is all without cleats installed, is 228. So definitely a featherweight, more racing uh, orientated shoe. Now let's take a closer look at the fit and finish of the Bond Cycling Helix shoes. One reason these are called Helix is because of the unique fixture system. You see you have a single dual direction BOA dial with a full release when you pull up and you have Kevlar lacing. Now what's unique about this is the pattern they chose for the lacing. Instead of a traditional lace pattern that wraps around the tongue area, this one actually wraps around as you would see with a helix. So you have two dedicated channels where it comes around through the sole all the way back around to the front toe box. They're really unique. And this allows them to do a single dial yet have a really good tension without any pressure points. You don't need a little separate Velcro a strap here or a separate dial to achieve that. The upper material here is also really uh, durable. It feels soft to the touch. And as you can see here with the bright coloring that we chose, it uh, really stands out, uh, really unique visually. You have raised lettering here that says Helix. You have Bond Cycling logo on the back. You have this contrasting white stitching throughout, as well as these little square, raised square and raised uh, rounded rectangle uh, design elements. It's a little busier than uh, more modern cycling shoes, but I still think it looks pretty good. One other thing that's kind of unique about this is the upper has this more exposed edge here. Makes it look a little less finished uh, in our eyes, and it wraps all the way around though. Uh, what's really unique about these shoes though is the sole. So it's a unidirectional carbon chassis. And as you can see, it's quite unique looking uh, compared to standard shoes, which all have a like, uh, standard mold to them. These really look anatomical. So you can see it's quite wide and actually matches the anatomical features of your feet instead of forcing your feet to match a standard mold. Also, the fact that these are heat moldable means you can get a really custom fit uh, without having to go doctor to get custom insoles. Uh, so that really ensures you can get all day comfort. You also have a replaceable heel pad, which is a really nice feature. Uh, that's one thing that I really let you use these shoes uh, well in the future, you can all swap this out in a couple years as this gets worn down. And that'll prevent you from damaging the carbon sole. You have a standard three bolt uh, cleat set up here with a lot of measurements. You don't have the memory tab, unfortunately, but with all these uh, markings here, it uh, should be pretty easy to place them. Let's also look at the included uh, insole. This is not quite as fancy as say the Shimano uh, S Fire RC9s with uh, replaceable arches. But this is also heat moldable. You're not supposed to put this in the oven, but as you wear the shoe, this will actually mold to your feet. 
You can see I have venting holes here that match the uh, venting locations on the shoe. And this is fairly uh, thin, but it still feels pliable. You also have additional uh, venting here. Also note that when you do the heat molding, you will take this out. So now let's take the Helix cycling shoes on the road. Here's some footage on a local ride. We're really surprised with how comfortable these shoes are. The really wide anatomical fit means your toes actually have space to breathe. And especially with these wider versions that we're testing here, it's one of those rare shoes where you can actually wiggle your toes yet still be really secure. And with the single dial system, it actually pulls your feet back as well as keeping it uh, flat. So really comfortable, really lightweight, and really the easy to adjust on the road. So overall, we found it was quite comfortable. And even though they're really stiff and somewhat uncompromising, especially with the stiffer upper, it ended up with a very comfortable ride. What I've laid out here is everything from the more traditional shoe all the way up to the Bond Cycling flagship, the Helix. So first, let's start with the more traditional shoe. This is the FXX from FLR, something we've reviewed here as well. It's $250 carbon fiber uh, outsole, but a lot more traditional design. So if we take the Vapor S and put them side by side, you can really tell right off the bat. Uh, the FLR has a more traditional platform where you have an outsole and you have the upper and the outsole simply serves as a platform. So you can see the carbon fiber simply extends on the bottom to provide stiffness. With Bond Cycling shoes, the uh, carbon fiber chassis, it serves more as a chassis than a simple outsole. And it actually wraps all the way around and extends all the way through the uh, platform of the shoe. So a little more different and a more custom design. Next up we have is one of my favorite shoes, the RC9. Shimano S Fires. These are really beautiful with this color shifting design. These are also very anatomical and at $400 they're equally expensive compared to the Bont. So as you can see here, as you go more expensive with shoes, they get more anatomical and the outsole becomes more integrated with the uppers. So with Shimano, it really extends all the way down. You have the external heel cup, replaceable heel pad, a lot of the same features. But again, uh, Bont Cycling is more anatomical. You can see the shape. Uh, the outsole on the Bond Cycling shoe is a lot wider all the way through and more anatomically shaped to your actual foot. There's also a big difference in the upper. So if you look at the Shimano shoe, it's really flexible and soft, while the Vapor S shoe is a lot less forgiving. And the actual outsole extends all the way up here, so you can see I can't actually extend that up. It actually flares over. Another interesting comparison is looking at the two flagships together. So we have the Helix here, a really bright color scheme, versus the uh, Vapor S. Now they share a lot in common. You can see the soles are quite similar. You have the unidirectional handmade uh, carbon fiber. You have the same upper material, the Duo Light. Same stiffness, same wraparound design. The big difference here are the uh, fixture systems. So with the Helix, you get a single dial and a uh, actual uh, the lacing actually extends all the way through the sole and back around so quite unique and you end up with a single dial with a little bit difference of a design with the vapor s you have a little bit more traditional tongue design and dual dial uh, lacing system now let's give the bond cycling helix shoes a final score we're going to grade it on four different categories the design closures comfort and value in terms of design, we'd give it an A-. Aesthetically, these shoes definitely follow a form follows function design approach. This means they're not quite as visually appealing as some other cycling shoes on the market. We also found the color variations to be a little too busy. Uh, they're less modern looking than some other shoes on the market. In terms of closures, we definitely give it an A. As a helix-like uh, lacing pattern, which is pretty unique, and it results in a much lighter and stiffer shoe. We found that even though it only had one IP1 dial, it was more than enough to really keep our feet uh, really secure and planted. Comfort, we definitely give it an A. This is a heat moldable anatomically fit design, which means whether you have normal feet or abnormal feet, you can definitely get these shoes to really fit. In terms of value, we'd give these shoes an A. They do have a flagship $400 price tag, which is quite high. However, all the features and the anatomical design means this is a shoe you can really wear for a lot of years to come. Thanks for watching this review. 
If you like the content, don't forget to like and subscribe. You can see more content from us on our website at thesweetcyclist.com, as well as follow us on Instagram at thesweetcyclist. This is The Sweet Cyclist reminding you to enjoy the ride.